Monday, the 23rd of August, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 16. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the everlasting Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 4, and seven. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. 
You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble, then, and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 7 O Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Lest like a lion they tear me in pieces and snatch me away with none to deliver me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things, if there is any wickedness in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil, or plundered him who without cause is my enemy, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me, trample my life into the ground, and lay my honor in the dust. Stand up, O Lord, in your wrath. Rise up against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God, decree justice. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated on your lofty throne, O Most High. O Lord, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to my innocence, O Most High. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. For you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield and defense. He is the Savior of the true in heart. God is a righteous judge. God sits in judgment every day. If they will not repent, God will wet his sword. He will bend his bow and make it ready. He has prepared his weapon of death. He makes his arrows shafts of fire. Look at those who are in labor with wickedness, who conceive evil and give birth to a lie. They dig a pit and make it deep and fall into the hole that they have made. Their malice turns back upon their own head. Their violence falls on their own scalp. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Then Eliphaz the Terminite answered, Call now. Is there anyone who will answer you? To which of the holy ones will you turn? Surely, vexation kills the fool and jealously slays the simple. I have seen fools taken root, but suddenly I curse their dwelling. Their children are far away from safety. They are crushed at the gate, and there is no one to deliver them. The hungry eat their harvest and they take it even out of thorns, and the thirsty pant after their wealth. 
For misery does not come from the earth, nor does trouble sprout from the ground. But human beings are born to trouble, just as sparks fly upward. As for me, I would seek God, and to God I would commit my cause. He does great things, and unsearchable marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth, and sends waters on the fields. He set on high those who are lowly, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. How happy is the one whom God approves! Therefore, do not despise the discipline of the Almighty, for he wounds, but he binds up. He strikes, but his hands heal. He delivered you from six troubles. In seven, no harm shall touch you. In famine, he will redeem you from death, and in war, from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. You shall come to your grave in ripe old age, as the shock of grain comes up to the threshing floor in its season. See, we have searched this out. It is true. Hear and know it for yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Saviour, for you have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, John six fifty two to 59 The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum, the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ, our Lord. The Song of Simeon Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us. That we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations. And teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness. And her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed. That your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us. That in us and through us your will may be done. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all peoples. To the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the strength of God pilot us. May the power of God preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the shield of God defend us. May the host of God guard us against the snares of evil and the temptations of the world. May Christ be with us, Christ before us, Christ in us, Christ over us. May your salvation, O Lord, be all ours this day and forevermore. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord. We pray and in your mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or conceive by the power which is at work among us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all ages. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.